Cable cast on is a great technique. It's a great way to start your knitted projects. And today I'm going to show you a twist to that technique. Welcome to Sherry Knits. I love knitting and I want you to love it too. Today I'm going to show you how to cast on, do cable cast on purlwise, which is great when you need to purl the first row of your knitting. Let's get started. Let's take a look at how to do cable cast on purlwise. This is a little bit different than the, the traditional, the standard cable cast on that you'll see which is typically done knitwise. But if you have a pattern where your first row is a purl, it's the wrong side, a purl row, then you might wanna consider doing cable cast on purlwise so that you put that swoopy pretty edge on the knit side so it will be on the outside of your project. It's just nice to have options and to know how to do things with a slight twist. So we're going to take our yarn and you're going to do a slip knot. Now remember, unlike long tail cast on, with cable cast on, you don't need to allow for a very long tail. You want to have at least six to eight inches so it makes your weaving in of the ends a little bit easier when you're finished your project, but you don't need it really long unless you're making a sweater or something that's going to be seamed together. And then you'll want to allow for a longer piece of tail for um, seaming or anything else that needs to happen. So let's make our slip knot. And I think it's um, a good idea at this point to when you make your slip knot to use the tail or the cut end to make the loop that goes through your loop. So I'm just gonna make that loop and go through the loop so that when I pull this tight to control the size of the loop, it's the cut end, the tail, that controls the size of the loop. And this is gonna be really helpful when you're at the end of the project um, because then you can tighten up the final the final corner. So just remember when you make your slip knot, use that cut end to make the loop that goes through the loop. All right, and we're going to be purling as we do this. So we want the yarn in the front. And for cable cast on, you make your slip knot and the very first stitch you create is going to be just a simple purl through that first loop. So purl through the loop. And then what you wanna do is take the right needle and pull it a little bit out. Give yourself some space so that you can take the tip of the left needle and go under and transfer that stitch over. Now at this point, your tendency is going to be to want to tighten this up and pull this working yarn, but don't do it. Avoid that temptation. And now take the tip of the right needle and instead of just going through that stitch, you're going to go in between those two stitches. So you're actually just going right in between. And you'll notice when you do that, now's the time to tighten it up, but there really isn't very much to tighten up. So if you pull it too tight too soon, it's going to be difficult to enter in between those stitches. So now's the time we give it a little tug and then wrap purlwise, bring it through those stitches. Now you want to pull, whoops, pull out just a little bit, give yourself some space, take the tip of the left needle, swoop under and transfer that stitch over. Now you're going to just continue to do that back to front in between those two stitches, tighten it up at that point, wrap counterclockwise, just like a purl stitch, back it out, pull it out just a little bit, tip of the left needle under and transfer it over. And do that until you have one stitch less than the total number of stitches you want to cast on. So let's just say we're doing a teeny tiny project and I only need six stitches and I have one, two, three, four, five. So this is my last stitch. I'm going to back to front, enter between the stitches, give it just a little tug there, pull, 
curl it back. Now, when I pull it out here, before I transfer the stitch onto the left needle, I'm going to just stop and pull that yarn to the back in between the two stitches. And if you know how to do traditional cable cast on knitwise, you'll notice that all this stuff is, is just basically in reverse. So once I've taken the yarn to the back in between those stitch uh, needles, then you're going to take the left needle, swoop it under, drop it over, and pull it tight. And when you turn it around, you'll see you've got that pretty swoopy, almost ropey edge of the cable cast on. So go ahead and work your first purl row across those stitches. And then when we get to the end, I'll turn it and I'll show you how to fix up that ending corner, the other corner. We pulled the yarn to the back on this stitch to make this corner look pretty. And now we need to make this corner look pretty. What happens, this always looks kind of loose and I feel like the, the tail, is. it almost feels like it's coming from the wrong direction. And so what I like to do is just go ahead and find, find the yarn that has that, where the tail is right there. And then just use your needle to pull it and pull it all the way through. Then what you're going to do is pull it and tighten up that stitch so that that first stitch of the cast on there is tighter and cleaner and looks nicer and then you can just weave in your tail. And that is how to do cable cast on pearlwise. I hope you give it a try. Let me know if you like it. And remember, you can do this. You are the boss of your knitting. Leave a comment below and let me know if this was a helpful technique for you, if you were able to give it a try. I'd love to know what you think. And also, if you'd like to say thank you for these videos, if any one of them is particularly helpful to you, I'm going to leave a link below and you can use PayPal to send a one-time gift and uh, buy me a cup of coffee just to say thank you for the video. It helps me to keep things going and to continue producing free content. Thanks, I appreciate you.